Hey guys, Christian Hanna Horror here today. Happy 4th of July, first of all. I don't want to take up too much of your guys' this time, but I do want a few minutes. So today's video is a amazing Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger bus. Now, the actual movie it's from is something I want help from you because it's a little bit of a an interpretation hybrid, but I want to see what you guys think. Regardless, it's an amazing bus. Now, if you guys have been following me for some time, you know that I did a video from the Devil's Latex on the Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2 Freddy Krueger replica, and that thing is amazing. I'm probably showing you some footage of it right now. And I always wanted a companion piece, because Part 2 is my favorite look of Freddy, but I was like, I want... One of the sequel kind of looks, you know. One, I want a ch uh, a master or a, or a dream or a dream warrior type thing. So when Steve had this, I was uh, from Devil's Latex, Steve Bellamy. I had to get this Freddy. I saw it and I was like, I need it. And today we're gonna look at it. So without further ado, let me bring him in here. Oh wow, do you see that? Okay, guys, here he is. Now he's foam filled. This is a Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger. And as you can see, he's got the great blue eyes. We've got the torn, ripped sweater, burned sweater. Now, I think this is what you would call a part 3-4 hybrid. He's got really a lot of the, the tight uh, skin structure like he does in 4, especially like the ears. The ears look very much Nightmare on Elm Street 4. But I get a 3 vibe as well. So I'm really curious to know what you guys think. If you think it's more of a part 3 or a part 4. What is your vibe from it? Because, you know, there's the two right in the back, but I'm sure I showed you guys footage of it, and that's 100% a part two, right? And this one is fantastic. I love it. He's going to be a great companion piece to the other Freddy Krueger. And I could not be more happy, guys. Look at how beautiful this thing is. Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, part three slash four is what I'm calling him. Uh, but he's so magnificent. I mean, the artwork is done. Steve is great, guys. This is, like I said, it's a foam-filled piece. I'll, I tell you guys, I've been collecting these things for quite some time. There's nothing wrong with Trick or Treat Studios mask at all. You know, if you're into that kind of stuff, great. You know, I've gotten to where I I get few more few and far between pieces for the collection, but I'll spend a little bit more to get pieces that absolutely elevate the horror room because that's what I'm all about at this point is elevation and this clearly is going to elevate the horror room because it is gorgeous you know um, just top of the line work from a top of the line human being I really like Steve he's very polite and kind answers all my ridiculous questions and I have another piece that you'll be seeing next uh, but today we're doing the Freddy you know the poll got really close but Okay, guys, so how about this? Enjoy this site. I'm going to do a small little, you know, video of it with some great music. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of my Dream Warriors cover I did and my Fat Boys Are You Ready for Freddy because, as we know, this is either a part three or a part four, in my opinion, but I want to know what you guys think, so why not mix the music up? So let me set Freddy down, and let's have a nice little video montage of him real quick. And thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm. 